Hello everyone and welcome to the overview of the template builder module. With this module you can replace the default structure on any page of your website even if it's a single post, an archive or even WooCommerce products. You can choose to replace a single template part like the header or the whole page which includes header, page title, content area and footer. First of all we're going to enable this module and we're going to go to the backend. Appearance team dashboard. We're going to find template builder here and click on activate. The page will refresh and we'll notice a new item here, template builder. We're going to click on it. First of all, we notice the global template here. The parts you select here will apply on all pages of your, of your website unless you override them by creating a new template that you display on specific pages by using the display conditions feature. First of all, let's start with the global template and just click here. We can select an existing part. We can create a new one. Just click if you already have a part. If you want to create a new one, click here and choose your builder. So it's going to be for now Elementor or the WordPress editor. Let's click on Elementor. A model shows up. And right here we're going to create a part for our header. So let's say I'm going to close all of these items right here. And I'm going to go to Cine Team Elements. And I'm just going to put the site title here. I can style it like I want. So let's say something like this. Click on Update. Close the Elementor model. Save my changes. I'm going to go to the front end now, refresh, and you can see my new header. Let's see how it works for a specific archive, for example. We're going to go to the travel category. You can see the header. I'm going to go back to the team dashboard now. So I'm going to use this template here. I can add a name if I want. It's not mandatory. I'm going to use the display condition. Search for a specific category name. And I'm just going to search for travel here. There it is. Save it. And I'm going to create a new header just for the travel category. So let's say from Cine Elements, I'm going to add again site title. Maybe with a different color. So this is going to be the difference. I'm going to update it. Of course, you can add the, all the widgets you need here. We have a lot of them, like site navigation. Let's add this as well. You can choose the menu here. Okay. Close the model. Save my template. Go back to the front end. So this is the global... Um, the global uh, header that I shown you. So this the one I built here. And now if I refresh it, the one specific to the travel category shows up. Of course, you can do the same for the other page parts. So the page title, the content and the footer. You can also duplicate a template if you want. So for example, if you you want to reuse this header somewhere else, you can just duplicate like this and select a different di display condition, something like on all singulars, for example. And of course, you can delete the template. Just remember to always save. That's it. Thank you for watching.